Hello YouTube and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum, Chu. Hi, I'm Chu. Yeah, definitely I'm Chu. Peace. Hello, and if you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food, how most of them would do it. There are exceptions, obviously, because some places will do it slightly different. We try and do like the standard, standard version. Standard, yeah, yeah, that's a word. The most standard. likely version you're going to get in yes. your local takeaway. Yeah, that's right. You can right. always tweak the recipes to make it more like your local, but this is pretty much the standard. Yes, yeah? that's right, standard. We're also going to be starting to do um, some lay food and some traditional Chinese food, particularly chicken feet, which is going to be coming out. Oh, yeah. Soon. One of mum's favourites yeah. there. Yes, I love it. You do, don't you? Yes, I do. And to me... I like it, however, either whether it is cold, hot, crispy, not crispy, just name it. Like the the skin on anything. <sighs> just... The skin on ham, the skin on chicken, the skin on pork. <sighs> It doesn't matter as long as it's fat. Yeah, bring it on. For me, the skin has to be crispy. No, I don't mind it. Yeah, so when the Ooh. skin's not, when it's when it's like wet, it oh, makes me I feel strange. Oh, just... you put some if the, if the chicken, you tear off the skin. <laughs> oh, you pour some soy sauce in, and then ah, and the chili sauce. Oh God, my God, it's heaven. Yeah, just tear off the skin. <laughs> Today's video. What are we doing, Mum? Uh. Hot and sour soup. Hot and sour soup. Now yeah. that time, didn't you? Yeah, hot yeah. and sour soup. This um, one has been asked for a lot, and it does appear in our book, which when this goes out, my, may already be available to buy, but from the moment of filming this, which is the 9th of December, it's still pre-order. We are receiving them between the 15th and 18th of December, um, so they should be set out the day after we receive them, because obviously we've got to pack them up and then yes. send them out. Yeah, packing is a lot of both. It's not just a, a one hour job. No, it's, it's gonna, more like a day. We're probably job. gonna have to close the restaurant. Yeah, days with the mess. Yeah, close the restaurant, and actually, if people are booked in, I might even have to tell them they can't have. Have their booking. Yeah. That is sad, really. Oh, but anyway, you guys but have paid. You guys are going to get what you paid for. You'll so. get, you get your priority yeah. service. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you very much for thank supporting you. the channel. Channel? The channel. channel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much. Um, okay, so hot and sour soup. Hot and sour soup. Here we come. Yeah. Right, okay, so here are the ingredients. This is going to serve between three and four. So. This recipe is actually in the cookbook. The um, link is, will be below. So we've got about a quarter of a white onion there, cubed like this. This is the best way to do it, but you don't have to. You can have strips if you really want this. I just prefer it like this in soups. It just sits in a spoon nicer than the um, slices, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got two button mushrooms. Well, I call these button mushrooms. Some places call them closed mushrooms. I think button mushrooms are actually it's slightly smaller, but still, this is a button mushroom to me. We've got two of these sliced thinly. We've got two tomatoes um, chopped into wedges. If you chop them this way, they stay together. If you chop them across like that, the insides tend to fall out. Just as a quick tip there. We've got about 50 grams of bean sprouts here. There might, there's slightly more here actually, probably about 60, but you don't need that much. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use any um, non-flavored oil you want. You don't want it to um, detract from the flavor of the things that are going into the pan. So vegetable oil is what we always use, but you can use, um, I think it's called cannelloni oil or something like that. That's fine as well. Sunflower oil is also fine. One teaspoon of sugar. You can use white sugar. Or brown sugar it doesn't really matter it's just you you're just using it for sweetness you can use um, half a teaspoon of optional MSG you don't have to use this if you don't want to this is just what a takeaway would use like I said this is takeaway cooking we're showing you so yeah here's the MSG again optional now we've got two heaped teaspoons 
of Tom Yum Paste. Now there are two particular brands that a Chinese takeaway will use. This is the one we prefer, it's called Cockrell brand, it's just a much nicer tasting paste. The other one is Maypoi, which in fact I'd say around 80% of takeaways will will use. They'll argue saying that it tastes better, but in reality they just use it because it's cheaper. This is actually not even that much more expensive, it's just a better, higher quality all round. Obviously you're entitled to your own opinion, that's completely fine. But this is what we would use, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You want 12 good size prawns. Um, we bought these from Tesco's actually. They're already deveined and shelled. You need them raw, that's the best. And also, it's even though we said 12, there's actually 30 in here for the eagle eye of you out there. I just um, added one extra for no reason whatsoever. One for luck. <laughs> one for luck, yeah. Because you're going to need about 200 grams of fresh chicken breast. Um, we're going to show you how you need to prepare it. We've done a video before on how to poach the chicken for this stuff, but we'll, because of our new format where we're going to do each step, just in case you haven't seen them before, we're going to go through that quicker than we did in the last one, but just so you have a quick idea of how that is done, isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. So you're going to need 200, there's 300 grams here, but we're probably only going to need two thirds of that. Okay, so we're gonna want this water to get to around 90 degrees C, no hotter. We're gonna put the chicken in when this reaches about 80 degrees C. You don't want the water to go above 90, you wanna keep it within the range of 80 and 90, because what you're trying to do is poach the chicken rather than aggressively boil it. Aggressive cooking just dries it out and makes the protein tough, whereas if you're gently cooking it, it makes it nice and tender, or keeps it nice and tender. Okay, so it's reached 80 degrees now. Um, we are gonna. This is 80 degrees C, not Fahrenheit. 80 degrees C. Um, so in will go the chicken. We're gonna turn the water down because, like I said, we want to keep not water. We're gonna turn the um, temperature down. You want to keep the temperature between 80. As long, if you don't have one of these, though, as long as it, the water doesn't boil, you're fine. It won't be as great, but you, you can get by with it. We're gonna cook these until the chicken reaches 82 degrees inside. We always make sure it's at 82 degrees because that's 10 degrees more than is safe for cooked chicken. Uh, if we make sure it gets to 82, we definitely know that everything is safe to eat in there. Okay, so we've reached 82 degrees. The second that happens, you need to take them out and we need to quench them in cold water. This stops the cooking process and it keeps them tender. Right. It's optional, you don't have to. So we just got a bowl of cold water next to us and you put the chicken put breast in. in. All we've done is put the chicken into the cold water and we're going to leave it there until it cools down. should only take about 20 minutes and then we'll cut it. If you try to cut it when it's warm, it will fall apart on you. Yeah. When it's uh, cooled down, it's set. So we're going to cut this off camera because it's just cutting chicken into chunks. We're going to cut them in slices, sort of half a centimetre thick like that all the way down yeah, okay right as always i forgot to mention i need about a litre of water at the start obviously without the water you can't make soup right so here we go you're obviously going to need to turn on the heat yep on a hit oh gosh here we come oh. boom okay so into this water. we're going to put oh, the yeah. uh, two tablespoons of oil yep and you're going to let that heat up a little bit just be patient Patient, patient. Takes about three, two, three minutes to get to temperature. Okay, so the oil is getting up to temperature. It doesn't need to be extremely hot for this recipe. So in goes the onions. onions. Just let it sit a minute. You can hear it bubbling away. And if you like, you can give it a turn. It's up to you. I'd always suggest turning the food though. It normally yeah. helps colour it on both sides. Put your mushrooms in yeah. there. Mushroom in the go. I like cooking mushroom. Do you? Yeah, once you put the mushroom in, it stops. It's spitting somehow. Oh yeah. Yeah, because the mushroom soak up the oil. Oil, and yeah. uh, can I say that? Yeah. Nothing rude about saying mushrooms soak up oil. <laughs> When you cook mushroom, you have to have oil. Yeah. Without oil, the mushroom don't taste very nice. That's why when you're cooking like garlic mushrooms, you have to use loads of butter, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Let it soak in, yeah. Okay, when it starts browning, in goes your chicken. Yeah. 
All over it, yeah, shall we? Yeah, might as well. Just put it on. It's got four person, isn't it? Four portion. Yeah. And your king prawns. Yeah. Now, you work it out, they're about three a portion, but we've got 13 in there, like I said before. The person who could get one extra prawns then. So there's no fighting, all right? You can have all my prawns, I hate them. Oh, I love it. Uh, I can't, uh, four. They're, they're, I hate them because they're the same texture as mushrooms. No, and this I has like both, mushroom. oh, mushroom texture, no. So it's turning now, your prawn is turning. It was white before, now it's turning slightly pink. And in goes your MSG. MSG yeah. Should we say optional or we don't need to say it now? Just too late. You see, getting colour and your, all your prawns and all your everything now. MSG actually helps to colour it all. Yeah. Give it a turn. But uh, it's hot. Yeah. So we need a new cooker. It's old now, this cooker. Yeah, it's about 20, 20 years old. 20 years old, yes. When everything's starting to brown, in goes your water. It's a litre there. Your sugar. Yep. And your paste. Okay. So it's yummy paste. Yeah. Even that, this is, don't think that this is uh, too oily, but this is uh, give you the flavour. Think cook without any oil is just not nice. No, it's not, is don't, it? It's tasteless. I don't care what other people say, <laughs> but oil is good. It's well, just it's, like... It's not good for you, but it makes you it makes things tasty. Well... Well, some oil is good Some oil is good for you, but even your car needs oil. Yeah, true. And go use the tomatoes. You don't want them, I forgot to mention before, you don't want them so they're overly ripe. You want under, slightly under ripened tomatoes so they don't fall apart. It take a few minutes before it start boiling, isn't it? Yeah. You can, if you want, if you like it really spicy, add fresh chilies or even um, chili flakes at this point. I wouldn't do it when there's no liquid in the pan because you create <laughs> like, um, a mist of pain, don't you? Yeah, like pepper spray. Like pepper spray. You do not want that. No, the mist of pain is not good. No. So you want to put it when there's liquid in and that keeps the um, the aerosolized oil of yeah. the chilies out the air. We're going to take this to the boil. When it's boiled, we're then going to add our bean sprouts and cook for about... A couple of minutes. Well, I'd say about a minute, a minute, minute and a half yeah. at most, because you don't want to overcook no. your bean sprouts. And then you serve it. There's no thickening to this at all it's clear soup all right yeah well clear it's not i wouldn't say it's clear it's more of a broth than a soup but i mean call it what you want call it john and it's still going to taste like hot and sour soup yeah <laughs> hey john <laughs> okay we'll be back to you when it's bubbly it's starting to bubble now and we're going to put in our bean, bean sprouts. sprouts probably yeah. not all of them actually i put in all of them by accident but yeah you don't <laughs> Just a handful. Yeah. And we're going to bring this back to the boil and yep. then let it simmer for about a minute. And that will be ready to serve. Okay, so it's ready to serve now? Yeah. You put a few pieces of chicken so everybody not complaining that they didn't get everything, right? Where are all the prawns gone? Yeah, they will come out. Right, okay, so here is the final product. Spicy hot and sour soup, which is basically just Thai Tom Yum soup. Yeah. Just, I think we're probably a lot more um, paste in. Mm. It's a bit boiling hot. Mm, just lovely. Enjoying that? Yes, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. We've gone a bit quiet because I'm too busy concentrate to eat. <laughs> You can't talk and eat at the same time, can you? No, it's true. If it's me, I prefer a little bit more paste. Oh. Um, but that's this is this is probably stronger than most Chinese yeah. takeaways will um, make it anyway. So if you if it's not the same, it's just a matter of how much paste you need to add. So if it, you think it's too strong flavour, just don't add as much paste. If you don't think there's enough, add a bit more paste. Yes, it's go by your own taste. Yeah, you know what you. You know what you like, okay? Yep. And we down here, we don't know what you like. Exactly. You, only you tell us what you like, then we know. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Cheers. Cheers. Oh, even the sound of someone mm. eating a prawn is horrible. 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you've never had Tom Yam soup before, someone actually commented saying that we should describe it. It's a hot Tom Yam, hot and sour soup. It's it's spicy. This actually needs a lot more chili in my eyes. Yeah. Um, but it's it's not it's not re really really hot. It's, if you don't like chili, I'd suggest not trying it. But if you don't mind chili, it's I wouldn't say it's hot at all. <coughs> this is very very mild. Yeah. To my taste, it's very 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 yeah. mild. The sour flavour comes from lemon juice, um, even though it's, you can't quite taste lemon in it, but the sourness is there. Mm. Um, and it's lovely. Try it. And there's lemongrass, a mm. lot of lemongrass. So it's very Thaiish. The original um, hot and sour soup from China is really different from this, and we might make a video from that. But getting that to translate into a kitchen, especially when it's just fast food, because that's what Chinese takeaway food is, um, doesn't quite make sense. So they use this tom yum paste, which is very similar. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, I can tell you're really enjoying it. <laughs> yes. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Um, by all means, pre-order our book. It might be out already by the time this goes up, but I doubt it. Uh, any, anything else to add there, Mum? I'll be cooking. No. Yeah. Like. What? Is it like, subscribe. Yeah, that, I forgot that. Actually, yeah, you've just told me how to do my job. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hitting those likes helps our channel out as well. Brilliant. Loads. Because you are brilliant. The algorithm it. loves it. So if you could hit that like, that'd be awesome. 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 Um, if not, don't worry. Uh, happy cooking, happy eating. There we go.